Hello, OTT Miracle Golfers. New video, got great news to share. You guys that are members of MSE TV, I just posted the OTT warm up and practice number one in the section with the over the top miracle swing. So I'm going to talk you through my practice session, how I'm drilling the over the top miracle swing. And I've got a smile on my face because I went and played in the skins game today at Brookside and it was packed all 24 spaces filled and there were more pros today than I've ever played against. And, um, you know, my gosh, you know, I have a friend of mine that played in the Shriners a few years ago that's in town from Arizona. And of course, John, we had a former Masters player in the field today. And I was lucky enough to be one of the five golfers in the pool at the end. So made some birdies and played some great golf. But I was playing with a pro named Brian that um, I've never had a chance to play with him before. I played with Stu, who played at the University of Oklahoma, and Garvey, who's a stick, and he works at a golf club. And I'll tell you something. The last time I saw Brian, I was so nervous on the first tee because, you know, these guys are pros, and I could hardly tee my golf ball up. But I played today, and I played quite well. Now, I was still nervous because I wanted to play well, but I wasn't sweating bullets like my swing was going to fall apart. And that's the best part about the over-the-top miracle swing. You know, you learn to be able to compress the ball. And if you can compress the ball, then you can manage your way around the course. That's the thing that I love so much is I don't have that extremely bad squirrely shot that comes out of the blue and dashes all my hopes upon the rocks. But I'm excited because, man... People are sending me videos and names of golfers to research from back in the day. They were all over the top miracle swingers. I told you I'm going to be talking about Arnold, so we're going to be teeing him up today and taking a close look at his golf swing. But I, I've never heard of Dave Reagan, a Ryder Cupper, from what I understand. I've got slow motion of him inside high OTT. Crazy. Somebody mentioned Dave Marr. I'm going to have to look him up. And I'll tell you, somebody pointed me in the direction of Mo Norman. And I saw an, a, a video with Mo, and I'm like, son of a gun. So, guys, if you want to figure this out, I've got a 42 minute video. It's not too long, but it's comprehensive called the Over the Top Miracle Swing at My Swing Evolution. There's links down below. And if you want to join MSE TV, I'm going to be posting more elements, more training under that same banner. So it's a win-win either way. I just want you guys to hit the ball solid and play the best golf of your life. So real quickly, I want to mention one of my subscribers that wrote me who invited me to Pinehurst. I hope I get to play someday. He said, I'm loving this OTT thing. Still working on grooving the feel, but wow. I'm getting so many of these messages. It's crazy. Thank you, James. But his question is, are you consciously applying pressure to the shaft during the swing or is it more passive? So I want to let my arms come along for the ride. I don't want to gas it through transition. But once I make it over and my right hip stays back so it doesn't jump out in front of me the way that it was so badly doing before, once I make it over, I'm applying pressure and I'm hitting down on the golf ball. That's how we do it. Guys, this is forgotten swing technology from the past. I feel like Indiana Jones of the golf world or something. And it's like so freaking obvious now. It's, you know, I think that all the instruction of dropping it under, lay the, the shaft off and all this stuff has done more harm than good. And like Harvey Pinnock said, if you've got an illness, you don't take a whole bottle of aspirin. I think that they gave the golf world a whole bottle of aspirin if you swing over the top. Sure, if you're too far out in front and you swing over the top, you're gonna wipe right across the ball. But if you take it in deep enough and get that same throwing motion, you're gonna hit it long and true. So check out this video with Arnold Palmer, the king himself. All right, let's talk about the king himself. Now I'll tell you, if you win four masters, you are a king. Now, Arnold's swing is so unique I've always been caught up in the helicopter finish. That's what catches my eye, but I never paid attention before to the fact that he's swinging over the top. 
right over the top. And this is a swing that's going to give us leverage. So let's look at this beautiful swing from the front. I never thought I would call Arnold Palmer's swing beautiful until now. The first thing I notice is the vice-like grip. He takes it deep around that leg like a post, just like Hogan. Super big rotation and coil in the backswing. I'm a huge believer in this. I need more. Now, I tell my students, get your back all the way to the target, and Arnold does it amazingly well here. His whole back is facing the target. Now, he has made a, a pretty centered pivot, you know, with that weight, the center of gravity, very far forward. But watch as he powers down over and through with this ball. He is smashing it. So that is... That's some blaze and speed right there. And, you know, he reminds me of some, some pros today covering it. Like, you know, he doesn't have any reverse C. Like, he was the opposite of that back in the day. That's so crazy to me. Now, this next swing, we're going to see him from over the top, which is going to give us a very distinctive point of view in his golf swing. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this dot as he's reaching the top of his backswing. Beautiful position there. A lot of these OTT golfers, you're going to see that they're across the line. I think that if you turn your shoulders more than 90 degrees, it's easy to get across the line. But there's more to it than that. I'm going to be digging into it. But as we watch the downswing, we can see that he's way out over. And in front. Now he's going to get in front because he's shifting his weight. But if we just go back to this first picture, we are talking about how he's already pivoting so far to his left. It's not like he has a massive hip shift like Freddie Couples or something. There's some, but he's clearly over the top. Now this next point of view really shows me how over the top he is. Once again, I want to point out that rock solid grip that he was so proud of. We see him to this point, you know, like nice normal golf swing, but right there. That is where it happens. So up and over. Now, let me tell you the key to this golf swing, why this style is so important to me, is look at how deep, now his right hip is hidden, but you don't see it. It doesn't poke out at all. It stays so far behind him, it gives him all the time and space he needs to leverage and hit down on the ball without his right hip getting in the way. Oh my gosh. Why did it take me until I'm 53 to figure this out? Yeah, I'm trying to pivot that right hip as deep as I can and then take this over move. So left hip is gonna pull everything down and around Gosh, that, that is just absolute money. I mean, Palmer, he won a lot of majors. He was no joke. In his heyday, he was the man. Hence, he's called the king. And boy, he keeps that head down a long time. I don't think that's a... Some people laugh at me when I say, keep your head down. They laugh, ha, 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 No, look at Arnold. That's Babe Zaharias style right there. So let's look at this last golf swing from the king. He is amazing. This is going to show you how deep his right hip gets. Okay? This is super duper cool. He's got, he looks Hogany. He looks Hogany that he's so far left. Okay? But this is where the athleticism. All the admiration is that right hip stays put 
and boy, he just opens the door here, and he is going to slam it shut. Man, that's Victor Hovland-like. Man. So I, I just think that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. He is smashing that thing down and through. So the OTT Miracle Swing, guys. Take it deep and go over the top. Arnold takes it deep, and then he's got all the room in the world to hit down over the top. Square the club face and hit it long and straight. So guys, I hope you'll check out the video at myswingevolution.com, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. The greatest swings from the past were over the top. Gradually over time, the most natural way to hit a golf ball was maligned, forgotten, and even shunned. The swinging of a golf club mimics a natural throwing motion, and allowing the hands to go over the top is the simplest and most effective way to play good golf. This is the Over the Top Miracle Swing. Do you have trouble slicing the golf ball? How many times have you heard people tell you, you're swinging over the top, that's your problem? What if I told you the natural motion of swinging over the top is actually the best way to hit the golf ball? Would you think I'm crazy? Well, I'm here today to tell you about the over the top miracle. The best part is it's a natural motion based on a throw. I work, what I worked on there was trying to get as far back as I could inside, tried to stay down through the ball. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. You don't have to be stuck with an over-the-top slice. That's why I created the new video, The Over-the-Top Miracle. Transform your game with the over-the-top miracle swing at myswingevolution.com.